why don't we start here? Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Full Media Part 49, Listen Part 2. In today's episode, we set out to continue composing. And what we've been doing is using what we're now calling our raw material for composing, which was all of these 38 cadences that we carefully set out in the last couple streams. And then the figures, uh, scale figures, melodies. And then today we added uh, you may remember the ramps, hops, and rolls, which sound like this kind of a thing. And that we're going to start using that in our uh, composing. So this whole thing is now called the raw material for composing. So then we decided to make some extracts. And we first thing we did was make extract number one. And we used the uh, melody figures that we liked from, we played for you several times, that go like this. However, in today, we added a whole new thing that we composed from scratch that sounds like this. So that is extract one. When we were reflecting coming into today's stream, uh, we were listening to the music we've done so far. We thought it would be really nice to have a fast melody stuff, fast melody breaks that go with the slow melody. So extract one kind of has that. It has this fast melody. And you remember how it ends here. It ends like this. that. We also have this horizontal rhythm emerging and in particular if you hear these two lines that's a steady rhythm but what we did here is speeding up the rhythm. So horizontally we have changed the rhythm and yet both this whole part is still uh, 10 bars. So the whole composition is this part is 10 bar, 10 bar, 10 bar, 10 bar. Then we moved on to extract two. And in this case, we decided to use um, these cadences. And recall that in our last stream, we had identified cadences that had common uh, backbone melody themes and color coded them. And uh, today we went ahead and copied, for example, the green or cadence one, cadence 20 copy those into what we're calling extract two, which is here. So there's cadence one and there's cadence 20 and so forth. And then we took our time and went through these and began identifying what are the de facto, what's the energy story that's being told right now? And what we're realizing is we're starting with the rest energy and then going into some clash energy uh, then we have a little bit of uh, urge energy, and then we end up on float, and then we finally come back into clash. So uh, we're going to play this for you, as this is all new, brand new. We already played some brand new just now for you. We're going to play this, and we'll come back and take us home. So here we go.
Alrighty. Now, the interesting thing about those sections is each section, as you heard, is the exact same backbone melody. For example, up here it's G A F. And again, every note has a different chord compared to this. So our ideas for next time are to tune the first extract and add some phrasing to these melodies up here, some slurs and things, and perhaps a line of ornamentation with some of the rolls and things that we've copied over. And for extract two, look at this energy story and see if we want to resequence things a little bit uh, and, and retell the story. Um, we might even add some more cadences if we need them from the, the, the raw material over here. And then we are thinking about doing it, some animation exploration now that we've got some actual musical material to work with. So that concludes today's stream. As always, thank you for your time, attention, curiosity, and interest. Tune in next time. What will we be working on with the C2552 next? And as always, keep on streaming.